Okay, so I found a website that goes through the option or the, the unpack or the unwrap and uh, another process that I wanted to kind of cover here. Um, and it is related to error handling in Rust, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I, I found a website here for Jake Dawkins, and it's and it goes through a, an excellent explanation for what unwrap and expect are. And so I'm just going to, instead of going through and writing a bunch of code to show it, I figured I'd just go through his website here because it explains this really well. So basically what happens is when you go through a function and you write a, a function, there are two different ways of returning values. You can use this option keyword that tells the system that you're going to be returning, in this case, a string. And if you look down here where we're actually looking at the code, so up here it just says if the user doesn't exist to return none. Now none is is essentially the same thing as null um, or unset or you know unknown, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but null is the typical in C and C++. Um, it returns a null value if that thing doesn't exist or if, or if something went wrong. Now the, the problem with null is that by returning a null, it's possible that your program is going to do things that you didn't want it to do, or it's going to error out. And so what Rust has done is they return this keyword none if the user, in this case, the user doesn't exist. Otherwise, they return some value for found status, and that is going to get returned by this string variable here. So when you're calling it, it, it essentially would look like this. It'd say, let the result equal get status, which is our function. And we're looking for Jake, Jake, Jake Hawkins. Then we would tell it that we want to match. You, you remember, or I don't know if I've done a match in this video series, but I have in another one. But um, so we're going to match. It's the same thing as a switch statement. It's just, it's a lot more powerful than a switch statement, but match the result and we're looking for if we got some status back then we're going to print that we you know whatever that status was if we got none back then we're going to print that we couldn't find them so this is one way to deal with this now we haven't gotten to our unwrap and expect yet but that's the this is the manual way to actually handle error handling inside of rust you you would have to go through and deal with all of this um, now if we look down here, this is using the result type, and it's essentially the same thing. We're, we're going through and we're telling it if the user exists to return an error. And so error is a special keyword in Rust that says that I've got an error. Otherwise, it returns OK. OK, again, is another keyword. And in OK, you would have whatever it is that you wanted to send back. Now, when you're calling this, again, let result equal get status. So this is all the same. We match again. But this, is, this time, instead of matching on getting none back, we're actually looking for an OK or an error. And then we just print out either the status or the error. So again, these are the manual ways of doing this. And sometimes you would have to do this because of whatever's getting passed back, or maybe you don't want to exit the application. You want to just report an error and keep moving. Now, unwrap is essentially doing the same thing, but it does it in one line. And so what it does, if you look right here, it says let status equal get status Jake Otkins and unwrap dot unwrap. So what this is doing is it looks to see if it got a successful status back. And if it didn't, it's going to panic the application. It's going to drop out of the application and quit running. Um, so it's a pretty serious thing to do in unwrap because you need to make sure that you're actually wanting to panic the application. If you don't want to do that, then you're going to go back up and deal with the match situation so that you can specifically say what to do if you got an error. Maybe it's not a severe error and you don't want to have the entire application crash as a result. And so in that situation, you need to go back and fall back to your match situation. But if all you want to do is unwrap and 
move on. And if you can't open the file, for example, then there's no point in continuing to run the application. So at that point, I'm just going to do an unwrap and drop out. Now, the only difference between unwrap and expect is that expect actually gives you the ability, instead of just doing a pure panic and leaving the application with no real explanation for why we left or what we were doing when we left, expect gives me the same capability. I can actually, it's going to unwrap and set status equal to the successful or to the okay part of that message. And if it doesn't, if it ends up equaling none or we get an error back, then it's going to print this message out, but it's still going to panic the application. It's going to drop out of the application. And he gives an example here of what it would actually look like if it panicked and, and dropped. It would actually take right here. We're setting status fetching and it actually prints that out here so that you can see where it dropped out of the application when it panicked. So match or, or so uh, unwrap and expect are essentially handling a panic situation and you're only going to use them when panicking is acceptable. Um, again, if I've got a service that I'm running and I'm wanting to, you know, to handle the errors and not actually have the application panic, then I'm not going to want to do an unwrap or, or a, an expect because neither of those are going to prevent the application from exiting. They're just going to give me information when it happens. So if you're a hundred percent sure that you're going to get a success back every time, then unwrap or expect are okay, or unwrap is probably better. Um, if you think that you're going to get a, a problem and it's possible that it's going to, it's okay for it to exit the application, but it's possible that we need to have some further explanation, then we're going to use expect to, to send a little bit more verbiage out when it, when it bombs. But in both cases, it is going to bomb, it's going to panic, and it's going to exit the application. So if neither of those situations are what you want to do, then you don't want to do an unwrap. You want to actually do a match to look specifically for an okay or a error.